so adorable. Now get the hell out of here. Hey guys, uh, mostly Jake. I just wanted to give you guys an update on what's happening right now with uh, the whole video making process. Um, so I tried um, my darndest to make some videos this week and didn't um, didn't make too much progress. Um, I, I, I I could argue the point that I made some progress, but um, the issue is is that um, my capture card, uh, this guy right here amongst all the garbage the uh, you probably can't even see that because it's the lighting in my room is weird but um is acting up the software is super um, laggy on my computer um, I need a better CPU to stream with it um, so I shouldn't have a, I really honestly shouldn't have a problem with uh, the uh, recording so words are hard so anyway I I recorded some fallout for I ended up getting it working I recorded some fallout for and what ended up happening was the audio from the game wasn't working I had my voice but there's no audio from the game um, and then so I was gonna edit that and put it together into like a little mini montage because the first like hour of the game really isn't that um, exciting um, so I was going to edit that in a mini montage, but when I went to use my editing software, it wasn't working either. I couldn't get it to render the video. So I'm going to, I'm switching actually back from my newest graphics card, this guy right here, um, to an older graphics card that I know works with, uh, Sony Vegas, which is the program I use to edit. So we'll see. Um, I might just in the meantime do uh, some vlogs because that's a lot easier. I can just do it on my phone and upload it straight to YouTube. But um, yeah, I could also make some Hearthstone videos. I can make some some easy stuff that might takes no real time at all. But um, this this is actually pretty hard, pretty hard process. Um, all the years that I've uh, gone about making videos, trying to increase my um, the quality of my videos uh, has actually made it harder to make videos. It makes sense, but in the end, I didn't really think about it. Um, so I have a lot of uh, newer, more advanced technology, science, whatever, and um, haven't, um, haven't really made any progress with it. So... Um, yeah, so I'm going to try and figure it out. Um, got a new haircut, by the way. Short on sides, long on top. Not a man bun, sorry. And, yeah. But, uh, hopefully, if I can get this stuff to work, my editing software to work, um, at, after this, I will uh, put some Fallout 4. But, um, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully, I'll have some more videos soon. Uh, my one of my New Year's resolutions is to get at least one video up every week with a full schedule of uh, school and work. So, I mean, one video a week isn't too hard. But uh, let me know. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button, I guess. It's like down there. Somewhere. Bye-bye. So, as you can see, I, I actually I, I figured it out. I figured out my... Uh, a problem and it ended up being that it was the graphics card that that was uh, keeping me from editing um, can't tell you enough how how crippled I felt um, not being able to edit but uh, now that I can I feel I feel like a real human again with the ability to edit yeah um, so what you're watching right now is the uh, intro cinematic to Fallout 4. Um, I'm, I'm kind of just going to speed through the beginning of Fallout 4. So if you really want to like watch the beginning couple, like I guess the beginning like full hour of the game, um, there's literally probably hundreds of Let's Plays throughout all of YouTube. But um, I just decided to speed through this uh, 
the first hour, um, just because, um, first off, it's kind of boring. Second off, um, I actually didn't record any of the game audio. I think I mentioned that before, but I, I didn't mention, or I didn't get any of the game audio from the actual game into the recording, so it was just my voice, um, which you wouldn't really know, but that's super boring. It just, it's really boring because it's just, just a lot of dead air and yeah. So, um, now that I'm able to edit too, I can make it less dead air, but, um, to speed you through what's going on, um, you make your character and you get to choose actually between a man and woman. Um, I chose man just cause I, I did a playthrough with the woman before and it doesn't really change much. Um, but you are in the year 2075 in a world where at the f like from the 50s forward instead of using atomic bombs they use atomic energy to power cars and weapons and armor and stuff but then the whole world goes to goes to crap because they run out of resources and so there's a whole huge war going on um, which is why there's a nuke that just went off fun stuff um, so, yeah, you sign up to go into a vault, uh, just in time to avoid the nuclear holocaust, which is fun. Um, but what they didn't tell you is that this decontamination chamber is actually a cryogenic tube where you're frozen for, uh, I think like 200 years or something. So... A little bit of spoiler, a little, little bit of spoiler there if you want to play through the game. Um, I mean, I'll probably put that in the title. There's some spoilers, but it's just the first hour of the game, so you've probably already seen it anyway. Um, but yeah, they steal your baby, shoot your wife, and um, then refreeze you. And then when you become unfrozen, you have to go find your baby. I'm actually not super used to doing these Let's Plays, so... Oftentimes my comedic timing is pretty bad, um, but yeah. So this is just the end, pretty much here. Let me just let me let me do a let's play of my let's play. Let me just <laughs> walk you through. Um, if you made it this far into the video, uh, thanks for watching. Um, and I think I'm gonna pick up. I actually played for about another two hours after this, um, but I, I lost a recording, and I. F made a couple mistakes so i'm gonna i'm gonna start from where it ends here and um yeah i'll see you guys next time